Hello, it's Moobit here, your friendly media manager from Gamer Nights at Code UK, Moobit Media, and all that other lovely stuff. Here playing the last of my daily Destiny videos in celebration of the release of the one of most anticipated games of the year. Of course, Destiny. Uh, this will be the last of my daily videos, but of course, I will be back with some uh, online gameplay with the Gamer Dads. Possibly every day anyway, but this is the last of my planned ones. And there you go. The whole point of this mission is to find the dead ghosts of some dead um, fellow guardians, which is who you play. Just to, uh, because they have a hidden array, a hidden satellite that will let you speak to other planets. Yes, yeah, see? Okay, let's go to the Skywatch then, shall we? Um, it's quite a long mission, this one. Um, goes on for quite a long time. I've, that's why I've done uh, a post-edit on this one rather than just recording it as live with the other videos because um, it goes on for quite a bit. And it, like I say, these early missions do get a bit samey if you've not got some friends uh, with you at the time to have some mirth with. If you're just doing the straight-up mission without messing about, then, you know, it's just a lot of shooting bad guys. So I've, I've cut some of this out. As you can see, you start, as always, you start off on the outskirts of the Cosmodrome, the Russian base where in the times before this future time, which is still our future time, get your head around that, um, where they used to launch ships off into the solar system in search of other habitable planets and the like. Um, usual kind of thing, you have to go through that hive that we went through in the darkness uh, level, which scared the crap out of me. I just, I don't like jump scares. I don't know what it is. I'm such a wuss. Especially in my delicate condition at the moment. It's it's not good. And here we are. We're just clearing out the guys who are guarding the entrance to the hive. And once you've done that, you go into the hive as normal. Um, just cutting some of this out. Because you've seen this bit before. And it's just there to get to the next part of the new bit of the level that you've not played yet. And as you can see, I've got my rocket boots. Because who doesn't need rocket boots? I could do some of those in real life if they... See, told you. Straight for the hive. Yeah. Indeed. Which means the hive, all those little monster things that were coming at you before, there shouldn't be as many here. But it's still quite nervous because you hear the squelchy noises from the walls and it's all dark and I don't like it. <laughs> oh, there's not too many levels like this in the rest of the game because... I'm such a pansy. So I don't play Resident Evil games or anything because I just don't like jump scares. I played that PT the other day on PlayStation 4, which is like the uh, trailer for um, the new Silent Hill game. And that was kind of creepy. It wasn't jump scare. It was only, like two jump scares in it, but it was, it was just a creepiness. And I've got an overactive mind, especially at the moment I have. And um, it... Uh, it didn't do me any good. I had to stop playing for a while. I, I watched the rest on YouTube. Watch somebody else do it for me. <laughs> As usual, bit of a horde modey type thing. A bit of an arena, if you will. So top of this room, you find that the enemies you think you're shooting, they're actually shooting at the hive guys. They're having like a little civil war and you just walk straight into the middle of it. So you have to fight them both. So you fight your way through like you did with the wizard. This was the end of the last level where the wizard in was in this room, if you remember. There's your new special move, Hadou Super Hadouken, which you unlock as a wizard once you've got to a certain level. You wait for your barrier to charge and uh, once you've got it says supercharge on the screen, you can do a Super Hadouken. But you've still got your gravity bombs. I love those things. They're awesome. And I'm showing you this bit because there's a hidden weapon which I didn't see in the beta. You have to go onto that roof, up onto there. So we're going to go fly up there in a second. Oh, Captain, my Captain. Just avoid these guys, because if you get that weapon, your quid's in. It's up there, just in that corner. So, what we do is use our rocket boots, jump straight over, hop up onto here. Bit of a chainmail fence. Don't fall down that gap, otherwise you're going to get hammered. And look, loot crate! And it's a huge new gun thing. It's quite kind of sci-fi-ish as well. Check that out. This is the noise it makes. Listen. 
Yeah. Love it. And this is what it does. Where's that captain? Oh, yeah, there he is. Kaboom! <laughs> Instantly vaporized. Uh, you don't get many shots of it, obviously. But uh, you do tend to find ammo for it knocking about as long as you go around picking up the bits once you've shot the enemies. So, uh, yeah, go and get that weapon. It's awesome source. The ghosts. They are in a clearing. Yes, let's go then. So you go through the um, um here, and it's quite a long corridor, and eventually you come out to an open bit world bit. And the idea is to recover the ghosts. So there are three ghosts. They're in pretty much the similar place. Um, one of the enemies is holding, like random enemies are holding them. So you have to basically kill quite a lot of enemies until you find a ghost. So the Captain E type one inside that building's got one, just to you know ease you into it. So uh, you just go and take care of him. The yes, the fallen have them, we know. And there you go, we see that little triangle symbol, that means it's a dead ghost. Pick it up. It's dead. Keep hunting. So that one hasn't got the code, because you have to find a ghost that's got the code to open the hidden satellite thing a bit further on in the level. It's quite a big open bit, and there's a civil war going on between uh, the hive and the... Uh, and the fallen, so you have to be careful. Try and avoid it as best you can. But there's usually two more ghosts in this building here, or there's a helicopter directly behind me. Um, which sometimes a ghost appears there if you shoot enough enemies. So here's me getting the second ghost. There he is. There, oh, see there. There's the hive guys. There in that. See that green crystal thing. They come high, flying out of there. And there's lots of them, so you do get amber quite quickly. Just just escape, you know, behind a rock or something like your health heal. Pick up the ghost. And then run away! Find another one. Run away! Yeah, he hasn't got it. So, you can go to... Last time I played this on the beast, there's one in that helicopter there. But there's also a guy playing the same mission, as you can see down there. And he's already collected that one, so... Eventually, I killed another one inside this building, and he dropped a ghost just here. So I'm just going to do a kamikaze straight in there. Boom. And it's usually the third one. See? Let's find the array. So let's find the array. Clear the room. Excuse me, yawning. So you clear the room. And you go for the corridor in that room. The darkness is growing stronger. It is growing stronger. And this is where you hit... Yes. This is where you hit the... Um, the dungeony bit, as I call it, on this game. Respawn and Restricted, this goes a lot quicker if you're with a group of friends. I highly recommend you get on with a group of friends or even approach some randoms and dance at them or something to see if they'll join you because it takes about 20 to 30 minutes to get through this, especially when you're low-level character and your guns aren't that much powered up yet. Um, lots of corridors full of enemies until you get to the open world bit, which has got even more enemies. And then you clear up a room, and then it does a another like boss level thing with even bigger enemies and wizards and big giant knights, sort of cyber knight type things. You'll see those in a minute, and it goes on for quite a while. So um, clear a few rooms, and you eventually come to this bit. Now this room's quite important. Clear this drug out of the way, Hadouken. Hadouken, thank you. Now this is a very important room for this bit. This is where you want to be uh, retreating to when you start getting surrounded and hammered. Um, there are some enemies that rush you and they've got cloaking devices. So when they come at you, you're only running towards this room. And I'll show you for why if I turn around. Here we go. This line on the floor, that one there where my cursor is, it's one of those beauties of a game like this. It's one of those invisible walls. So if you're getting... Um, hammered by enemies and they're following you and rushing you and trying to get at you run past that invisible line and step back a little bit they'll still shoot you sometimes not very often you run past that invisible line they just get bored turn around and bugger off back outside again <laughs> so if you find it's um you're dying a lot there's your invisible line there's the glitch in the game as it were and you, to be fair you think with the new generation of consoles 
and PC games and things, they would have like found a different way of doing that. But even now with the first person shooters, there's there's respawn lines. Um, which baffles me these days with all the technology and, and power they've got to play with and they're still doing invisible respawn lines. It's hilarious. But there you go. So you have to clear this room. There's a vandal and there's a captain up on that platform. So you clear all them out. And then to the left there at 2 o'clock there's another room that you, that you clear. And then that's what... Then you put your ghost inside a computer and that's what activates the boss level. Just like the other missions, these early missions, they're all pretty much the same to be honest. That's the thing about this game, it is quite samey. It's fun but it's, it's samey. If you play it for hours on end, you, you tend to do the same thing over and over. Especially if you're just playing the missions on your own. So I'm definitely just going to play this just with the Game of Dads or with a group of friends, I think. It's a lot more fun that way. There you get all the hover car things, those things there, get rid of them. And like I say, there you go, energy's going down, so run back to that room. Enemies won't follow you. And just let your uh, your health recharge and then go back out there and finish the job. And eventually you get into this room at the back where I was showing you before. And again, there's loads of enemies in there. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. And this is where you get rushed by invisible. These guys here, there we go. And they are pretty double hard. You need a shotgun and loads of Hadoukens. I mean, see? So just, if you do that, run back to the room. And I cut it out there, but if you run over that line, they just turn around, get bored, and bugger off. So you, <laughs> then eventually you put your um, your ghost into the machine, and that activates the boss level. So here's me, I've activated the boss level, and I've run straight back to this room to get all my weapons ready. There's a big knight thing here. Kind of a cool thing, but I've got this giant weapon here. Boom! Two hits for one of those, and it's gone. It's, it's, I, I missed there, I hit the, the panel. You'd think the explosion would still get him, but there you go. Cool character design, though, look at it. Hey! I'm going to show you the whole of this boss level. There's, um, I've just cleared out a wizard, actually. That's what I've, I forgot. So a wizard appears first, just to 3 o'clock on that platform there at, at, to the right. Then the knight appears, and then you get lots of these uh, acolytes type things rushing you and you just mow them down with any old weapon it doesn't matter they don't take too many hits if they get too close just had duke in their ass if you're a wizard they are there's me running running back to the safety shooting for the windows see they don't follow you magical respawn line but remember it's not that first doorway it's the second one they will go into the room with you but if you go into that second room over that line up I, I showed you earlier They'll, they'll just turn, they'll get bored and turn around and go and hide behind one of these crates here. <laughs> so, uh, there you go. Hadouken! But the problem with this is, like, there's so many enemies, there's the only one that's hidden, and you have to clear every single one before it lets you carry on. So it's me trying to find the last baddie who's just, like, hiding somewhere. And that's, that's what gets frustrating. There he is. And I think they might, oh, there you are, so... And then that activates some more coming out the doorways to the left and to the right there. So you just keep going until p things stop coming out the doorways, basically. But, uh, yeah, it just gets a bit... There you are. Boom! When it's just doing that over and over again, it does get a bit samey, I must admit. So here's me trying to find the last one. There he is. And... Can I Hadouken him? Yep, he's down. There you go. So here's the computer where I dropped off my little ghost before. Through here. Remember this is all full of enemies as well. So like I say, it takes 20-30 minutes to do that alone. It's a bit of a ball lake. Yay. Rasputin. There's a plot point for you. And that's the last of my daily Destiny videos. I will be bringing out some more, of course, as I play with the Game Dads and things. And there'll be a bit more fun and some silliness going on there. Subscribe for more and some for some nerd culture and things like that. And check me out on UK and Twitter at Moobit. See you around. Ta-ra! I like to move it, move it, bit.